Hey everybody, welcome to Jay Stern Designs and welcome to Quick Tip Thursday. This is a super exciting week. Um, I got back from Florida on Monday night. I had an amazing time with the Titusville ASG group. We did jeans, we did t-shirts. Some of the ladies tried out some of the new necklines that are in my teen neckline workbook. It was a really fun weekend. I stayed with one of the members named Becky and she had two adorable children. I had so much fun with them and her husband was so gracious. He cooked us dinner and breakfast. It was so nice. Um, so that was a really fun weekend. Um, and then on Tuesday, I had to regroup and clean a little bit and get my house back in some sort of order. Um, and then yesterday, I spent the day working on my Ponty Knit jeans and I tried the two um, pocket styles, single pattern piece, style and then the traditional two-piece style in a thinner fabric um, to see which one would look better and I'm going to show you that in a minute but hands down I love the single piece um, pocket and after I show you how the jeans look on me I will show you some of the things about the pocket and how it kind of goes together so I'll show you that after I show you how they look. All right so you can see I'm wearing my ponty knit jeans and um, the waistband sits right on the natural waist. That's how it looks right out of the pattern. I didn't adjust that. You know, it's got a traditional pocket. It has a front fly zipper. All right, so in the back you can see it's got two traditional um, patch pockets. It has the yoke, and you can see the fit is really nice. I really didn't play with adjusting the crotch curve very much either to get them to fit me this way. The one thing I did do was after I made these, I had to go in and take a little bit off the front um, inseam through the intersection of the front crotch and back crotch because it was a little bit too long. But other than that, this is how the size 14 fits right out of the envelope. Okay, you can see right here, you can see the indentation. I'm not loving that. Um, and actually, it's not that bad though, but I can still see, see right here? Okay, I don't really love that. Now, the other side, I did the um, single pocket piece, and it stops about here, and I really like it. Okay, it's still sewn from the side seam to the zipper, but it's barely noticeable. So the winner and the pocket bag I'm going to include with this pattern is the single pattern piece for a pocket facing and pocket bag. And I can still put my hand in, okay, so you can see that's where the bottom fold is on that pattern piece. To increase the comfort of these, I'm going to actually put elastic through the waist to hold it. And I'm also going to add belt loops, so if you want to wear these with um, a belt, you can. And that would also keep them up where they're supposed to be. Because right now, it still is a little bit loose around my waist, and I wore them to lunch and I was pulling them up. So um, that's the one additional improvement I'm going to make. I'm going to put elastic through the waistband um, and it will be in the instructions with the pattern and I'm also going to add belt loops so if you wanted to wear a belt you can. So this is the Ponty Knit jeans. I'll give you one more look at the back. As you can see um, they fit really really well and they're super comfortable. The only thing I still have to work on is making the waistband a little bit more secure so they don't slide down. Right now, my waistband on these are a little bit too big, so I'm going to add the elastic and get a snugger fit. Um, and then the other thing is I'm also going to add the belt loops because I really like to wear a belt with my jeans, and even though these are knit um, and I really don't need a belt, um, I'm going to do that because I think it'll look, it'll just make it look even more, you know, sort of authentic jean than with no belt. All right, now I want to show you the inside. Okay, so you can see that here's my inside of my ponty knit jeans and the traditional pocket bag is right here okay and it actually turned out pretty well when i used a much lighter cotton this is almost like a cotton boil very very fine and it showed it still showed a little bit um, not as bad as when i used the batik cotton but um 
the other side where I just used the single um, piece that was folded, I think it was a combination of where it hit on the leg and the fact that it was just folded and there's no surged edge here. It was really very, very, very slightly noticeable. I mean, barely noticeable at all. So this is the pocket I'm gonna include in this new pattern. So I'm gonna show you how to, um, I just wanna give you a little peek on how this pocket goes together. It's a little bit different. And actually, I'm kind of happy that it's the pocket it, that worked out the best because it's actually easier to put together. Not having the two pieces, um, you know, you eliminate some steps and it really was quick and easy to do. So I just wanna show you some things about that. All right, so here is a, the, the one piece pocket shape. And you can see it, it basically looks like it's um, a big rectangle with the front pocket opening cut into it. And what you need to do before you sew this to the front leg is you need to attach your uh, pontine little facing piece that protects the view. Now, because we're folding this in half, and when you look on the inside of your jeans, you want to have the pretty side of your fabric showing, It's you're going to put the facing portion wrong side together with the front leg. So when you're lining it up with your front leg, let me just show you. Let's pretend these aren't sewn in yet. Uh, all right, so basically when you're lining up the facing with the front leg, it's gonna go on this side because I want the right side facing up instead of the right side facing down. That's how you're gonna line up the pocket when you sew the facing to the front leg. Now, the, the question becomes where does this facing piece go? When you put your pocket facing inside and fold it, it's gonna look like this. So if you just fold it in half with the right side face up at you, that's how you know that this is where the um, denim facing goes, or I'm sorry, the pontine facing goes. So it'll look like that, okay? Now I've also been playing with different ways to sew a stretch fabric to a non-stretch fabric like a patch, you know, when you sew this on. And what I ended up doing was using some of this um, Fusy Mist. It's a really lightweight, double-sided fusible web. And I cut a piece um, the size of my little ponte knit facing, and I put it between that and the pocket bag, and it holds it nice and firm for me so I can sew it on without stretching anything out of shape. So that's how I have dealt with sewing the stretchy onto the non-stretchy. So this would go on like this, and then after it's sewn in, it's gonna look like that. And then inside your jeans, you'll have the right side of the fabric showing as well. So I think this is a really easy way to do a pocket bag, and I'm super excited about it because again, I'm super excited that it doesn't show that much. I'm gonna to have to play with my different needles and my top stitching with the top stitching thread because you know, depending on what I was doing, every now and then it would pull through like this. So I'm gonna be playing with different top stitching um, techniques. I'm gonna play with tension, I'm gonna play with needles to try to refine how nice the top stitching comes out too. So those are other things I'm gonna be working on when I work on the instructions for this pattern. You know, if you have any question about, questions about this one piece pocket facing pocket bag, or sewing a knit to a non-stretch fabric, or if you have any questions about the Ponte Knit jeans, you know, please feel free to post them below or visit my blog at Stern Designs. And um, I'm gonna work really hard to get both the misses and women's sizing completed and finish this instructions um, so, it'll, so it'll be ready before Christmas because I really, I'm actually hoping to get it finished before Thanksgiving because um, I'm super excited about this pattern and um, I want to get it done. So I've completed my um, pocket experiment and next week what I'm going to do is show you improvements to the waistband because I want to make sure when you make these jeans they're like super comfortable to wear and super fashionable. You know, you can put them on and go either dress them up or dress them down and it can look great no matter what you're doing. I think these are gonna be super comfortable and 
I'm super excited. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Um, I'll see you back here for Quick Tip Tuesday next week.